going on, everybody? This is the Chicago Sports Talk. Michael back at it with another video talking, of course, the Chicago Bears. And it looks like the Chicago Bears could have, once again, for the third year in a row, hit another player that's on the UDFA roster. So Bears fans... Who is this UDFA free agent that the Bear that could be a gem to the Chicago Bears offense? That, my friends, is John Jackson the third. Who is John Jackson? You may ask. Well, before we take a deep dive, I do want to remind everybody: if you are new to the channel and you stumble across this video, please hit the big red subscribe button with the bell notification, and hit also hit the bell notifications for. Them. And also giving me a big like and a subscribe button. So who is Josh Jackson? So primarily he has chemistry with Caleb Williams. So during uh, Caleb's time at, at USC, I before he transferred to Nevada, he had a bit of chemistry with a quarterback, Caleb Williams, and went undrafted and is fighting for a play, uh, uh, excuse me, a chance at a roster spot for the Chicago Bears. And out of a, he, um, succeeded during rookie the rookie mini camps, and the Bears gave Josh Jackson a full camp to prove that he could be on the roster, and he has been making a surprise impact. So John Jackson the third, um, if you go look at that Nevada, which was technically his best year, so. And basically, Nevada wasn't a popular school, but he did show a lot of traits. But he's ha he has a lot of competition going into um, Bears uh, wide receivers because you got DJ Moore, you got Keaton Allen, you got Roma a Doomsday. But the wide receiver four and the wide receiver five is pretty much open for competition because you got Tyler Scott, you got um, Vailus Jones Jr. and whoever, whoever, basically Dante Pettis. So if Josh Jackson could be filling up for filling up a spot that um, could be on the Bears' depth chart from the start of the season, and I almost guarantee you, bro, I almost guarantee you this. Josh Jack Josh Jackson's gonna get more playing time in the preseason to showcase that if he can basically um, make the starting roster uh, before um, the, the regular season starts. But we all know Ryan Poles hits on UDFA free agents. I mean, let's go look at the two individual players that he um, selected from UDFA. One is Jack Sanborn, the middle linebacker from Wisconsin. He has had a solid two years to start his NFL career, and he is the third linebacker behind TJ Edwards and Tremaine Edmonds. So the another free, uh, UDFA is Tyson Bajan. Even though Bajan doesn't have traits to make him a starting-level quarterback, he's been solid as a backup majority for the bears so could john jackson the third be uh one of the udfa free agents that the chicago bears hit on this year so um i'm looking at the dude's tape and i think he could be solid but like i said we have to see the production on the field and most importantly, he has chemistry with Caleb Williams. And obviously, I think Caleb would advocate for 
John Jackson to be a part of the death chart. And basically Keenan Allen's on a one year deal rental because let's say Keenan Allen doesn't do good as we expect him to be. And he doesn't end up re-signing with the Chicago bears, which it looks like the bears are letting Keenan Allen play a, the last year of his contract. So let's say it doesn't work out and the bears don't want to resign him. They, whoever could be the number three, um, Tyler Scott, or Valus Jones, or even John Jackson. Maybe John Jackson could be the number three receiver for the Chicago Bears. But um, looking at the tape, excuse me, looking at the tape, he could have traits to be a starting receiver. But like I said, if he keeps doing what he's doing, he's going to have a um, spot on this team uh, going into next year. I mean, not next year, this season. So let me know in the comment section down below if you think John Jackson the third will be will make a roster spot by the start of the NFL season. So let me know in the comment section down below how y'all feel about John Jackson the third. Thanks for watching, and always, uh, this has been the Chicago Sports Talk, Michael, and Bear Down.